Hello and welcome back to Might Magic 6, the Mandate of Heaven. Let's go and finish the Temple of Ba. Also, let's not forget Torchlight. So, now we got the, uh, the final key to the bathhouse. The other bathhouse. Mm, should I take the items first? Uh, probably. Now we should not have any problems on Got it. this. Treasure room key. A few potions. Aha! I use this mace. Mm. I use the spear. Uh, mm. Static charge. Also not very useful. Oh. And the gothic amulet of thought. Intellect plus five. This is useful. Now, who needs intellect? Definitely not Beverly. <laughs> yeah. Also, definitely not Picard. So, it's either Riker or Diana. And Riker doesn't really cast much, so I'm just going to give this to Diana. That should increase our spell points by three. That's not actually that much, but that's because we already have a whole bunch of intellect. Including cursing. Thankfully, we have this now. These guys are much less of a problem than they used to be. I got rid of all the skeletons while I had the chance without getting shot by acolytes of Ba. Okay, in the meanwhile, we need to heal. is everything on that side. So we just need to go on this side. I guess, is it? No, we've already opened everything here. So I think this is actually for the secret in a secret. Let's go and find out. I'm not getting shot by a fireball. Fireballs in this game are much less spectacular than in Magic 7. For plain order. Also, we have 10,000 gold. Much of that is uh, from the Golden Torch. But other things are from various rewards that we got everywhere. And yeah, we can go to level 10. 
That's nice. I think we will do so, because the next dungeon that we need to take care of is much more difficult. The door is locked. Hmm. Treasure room key. Be the other one. Somehow I doubt it, but where else would that be? Yeah, and we can even see that there's something over here and there. Hmm. Because we've opened both storehouses. The rest is the. Uh... There's a statue that gives us the initial key. There's those two doors that are locked. What would be the treasure room? Ah, okay. So this was it after all. And there's just one chest. Let's be careful though. Chime of Harmony! Type Chime. Quest item. A set of wind chimes made of brass with copper chi with copper chains. Etched along the surface of the chimes are symbols of Ba. Hmm. Another treasure room key? Ah. A shadow dagger. Uh huh. Commissioned by Etheric the Mad, while still a human, it is said these daggers have a link to the land of the dead. They are used in certain magical rituals designed to extend life to natural lengths. Yeah, so this ties in quite a bit with what we're doing in Heroes of Mind and Magic 3. Ethric the Mad. He didn't used to be the Mad, but now he's the Mad. Aha! And an elven bow. I think that's useful. Uh, is it... Accurate crossbow. Precision bows are better. Ah, oh, you have a long bow, so indeed this is better for you. And you have a piercing dagger. The shadow dagger seems to be worse. Less attack, less damage. Yeah. So piercing dagger it is. And no enemies. Surprising. So this is faster, technically. Cut corners. Especially since these types of staircases actually teleport you on top of the stair. It's the same type of staircase that's used also in Unreal Engine 1. Just build these blocks and uh, the game just teleports you on top of every stair. So if you have very steep staircase, that means you can climb it extremely fast. Well, bag of gold. Seventy gold. Eighty-five. Five. Ninety-eight. a solid 10,000 gold. Pretty nice. I guess that's all for the Temple of Ba. Unless there are some secrets that I don't know about. Alright. Excellent. So with this we can go and train. Also potentially buy some more magic and so on. Yeah, 
so with this place open, the fireballs go all the way to here. Let's get out of here before we get hit by a fireball. Oh, also it's night. It is almost day, in fact. Hmm. In that case, let's just go to the training place. Well, not really, actually. Let's go shopping first. Because after we train, all shops will have restocked, since it will take a week. Since I have all this gold, I might as well also... Um, teach someone more magic. Closed. 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. This. Closed. 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. And this. Closed. 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. So let's wait until 8. Oh, let's wait until 6, and then wait until 8. Spirit, the magic of life. Curse, heroism, spirit arrow. So it looks like this did not restock. Mind, the magic of knowledge. Sphere precision. Might as well buy mass fear, since I have all this gold. Control paralysis... that would be useful, actually. Just to have an extra person who knows cure paralysis. Yes! Okay! The only thing that uh, we can now cast from my magic. The only useful thing in any case. Body, the magic of healing. Cure poison. Do I have that on everyone? Body, body, body. No. Buy that as well. magic of healing. Okay. What do you have from spirit? spirit? Magic of life. Oh yeah, remove curse. I might as well get that as well. Heroism not really useful. Spirit arrow, guardian angel, bless lucky day, yeah. Okay. Alright, so we got this. We do need to sell a whole bunch of things. I wonder if the prices for selling are different. Let's find out. 44 for Longbow. See you, cheapskate. How rude. <laughs> right. If you go into a shop and you don't buy anything, then the shopkeepers will yell at you. Back in the day, I was convinced that that had an effect on our reputation or fame. Don't touch the merchandise. It's not actually the case, but... See it tight, wad. Well... Yeah. There's no actual change, but it just seemed to be back in the day, and I always tried to buy something from shops, Hello, even if I didn't need to buy something. Where's... Looking for a weapon? 44, so now all shops give you the same amount of gold. Come on. 
Come again. Come again, you say? Looking for a weapon? Just to check, what special things do they have? Nothing much. Come again. And yeah, otherwise I just need to sell the armor. 640, so there's still some time until 8. Armor place. Ah, there it is. Finest armor in the land. And they have plate armor. So leather, steel shield, wizard's helm, intellect and personality, paladin gauntlets, golf hat, crown of protection, plus 10 to all resistances. That's pretty cool. Still not going to bother with getting that. Dragon Leather of Thoughts. Poison Resistance. Health. Electricity Resistance. Yeah, good stuff. But I'm going to save my gold for now. Come back soon! It's closed. Indeed. See anything you like? Osric the Alchemist. I have newt. Do you have potion balls? Deadly swarm. Leather belt. Stun charge. Protection from magic. Wizard cap of speed. Oh, they have a fairy wand of sparks. What I want to do soon enough, that would be actually quite useful. Hmm. Also, an essence of speed? That sounds like something I want to have. Yeah. Let's take it. Let's take this as well, even though it costs a whole lot. Rules of health. Protection from poison. Fireball. Ring, helmet, helmet, ring of luck, healing touch, warlord belt. Doesn't do anything though. Thanks. Come again. Okay, so now we have two ones. And who do I want to give this to? More speed, less personality. And the only one who can lose personality is Riker. So might as well. Yeah. They're just free speed. Relatively free anyway. We had to pay for the potion. Alright, so let's go train. Hey, looking to train? Sure are. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Six well skill done. Points. Skill points. Huh. Not today. So that did cost a whole bunch. But now we have 17 skill points. Whoa. So the question is, where do I spend those skill points? And I have to refer to my own list that I have made. 17. Hmm. So, Picard. I do want to invest in perception. Then, I'll eventually want to invest in bow. Body magic, mind magic. I got those. 
got sorted expert. Eventually I will want to expert in spear. Um meditation. Yeah, let's Also plate. Yes, I need plate armor. Recover recovery penalty reduced. Okay. And then I'll go with meditation afterwards. Oh, 16 spell points. Still not great. Okay, Riker. He started axe, so now he can get full axe. Next, what about the magics? Air magic, water magic. Yes, I definitely need air magic because that is wizard eye. Next, Beverly. Started shield. And we can go with... So I got spirit magic. And that's all I want, actually. Chain armor is something that I will also want. And meditation otherwise. Oh yeah, I already got that. Bow or chain. Recovery penalty reduced. Uh, it's not terribly useful. But it does give more AC. But then again, I think we're good with AC in this case. Yeah. So go with bow. Next, Diana goes for Earth Magic, I believe. Yes. Air, Fire, Earth. And... God Meditation. Hmm. Dagger or Bow could work. Oh yeah, she also has shield, but no shield. <laughs> yeah, I definitely want to put something into shield. But probably not yet. And leather? Yes. I do want to put skills into leather as well. So... Would be okay, but I think I just want to put into leather. Okay. So that's nice. We got a whole bunch of hit points, a whole bunch of spell points. So we can go and fight something. It's also Wednesday, 10th of February. How are you? And I think nice to see you. There were some trainers that could uh, train us up. All of the armor trainers are in that location. I think I can already get something for plate armor. Just to check, 122. Greetings. Yes. Hello. Expert shield defense. Yes. Hello. Plate armor training. Okay. Now it is 107. That is actually a really big improvement. So we got everyone's armor to expert. Yes. Good. So what I want to do is to go investigate the case of missing Sherry. 
More skewed, damsel in distress, kill with a shield, a harp. Rescue Sherry from the Sherry Guild hideout and return with her to Frank Fairchild in New Sarpagal. Then we will have a reason to go back to New Sarpagal, turn in our quests, and perhaps go somewhere else. Shadow Guild Hideout, I believe, is here. So let's just take a quick peek at whether or not we can deal with this place now that we have leveled up to level 10. And let's see just how well our new spells work. Mm, I don't need protections from magic, I think. Actually, I don't think I need Lucky Day either. I do need Precision, and I don't need Meditation right now. Need to give the cards some uh, some meditation. Yeah, it's just enough to cast precision on everyone. Aha! And wizard eye now lasts for four hours. Nice. Guild hideout. This area appears to be abandoned. However, fresh footprints lead in and out from recently repaired door. Perhaps it isn't so abandoned after all. Perhaps it's just a hideout for the Shadow Guild. I got a bad feeling about this place. It's a rogue. And we're not in a position to actually fight the rogue. Also, this is a thief. And the thief is behind a rogue. Great. Yeah, these guys are dealing a lot of damage. At least we are also dealing a lot of damage. Burglar, but also rogue. Rogues are more difficult to deal with, so let's get rid of them first. Oh dear. Okay, you need to be healing. You're not going to deal a whole lot of damage anyway. Or maybe you will. Still need to get healed. Now oh, come on, stop hiding behind one another. There's like a pixel of that burglar. <laughs> Got another. Okay. No problem. One shot, one kill. Well, we cleared this room. We should heal. Because these guys hit like trucks. And that's why if we had gone here before we leveled up, we would have been dead. Very dead. The door is locked. 
Somehow, there's something odd about this room. There is a tile. Next, I have a switch. That open the passage down. Huh. I thought it would open the door, but I guess not. Oh, thugs. We can deal with thugs. Okay, no more thugs out there. There's a door. Let's not open any doors yet. Why is this a dead end? This makes me suspicious. It's probably going to open at some point. Aha! Uh -huh. More thugs. And a brigand! Wow, they actually hit quite hard as well. Ow. A ruffian. What do we have here? A chest. It's uh. not even locked. Protection from magic. Uh, might be useful, I guess. Mm. Wooden shield. Uh. Uh, stuff. Aha. Uh -huh. Regular dagger. Uh -huh. Regular dagger. Mm. Long dagger. Nothing too interesting, but this wooden shield is armor plus four. Of course, it lowers the speed from 60 to 71, but that's not bad, actually. Okay. So that will be all for now, and next time we will continue exploring the Shadow Guild hideout. Later.